Paul was committed, a committed Christian to the very last day of his life. A philanthropist, very quiet one. Likes to do his thing very, very quietly. Now let me take you to Benin. The next event in Benin was a church, a service of songs. At the St. Matthew's Cathedral, attended by all that you know in Benin City. Mrs. Betsy Obaseki, First Lady of Edo State, led the pack. We had the SSG, we had top government functionaries that paid a huge, robust farewell to a worthy son of a Edo State who has taken Edo State name to the world. From the raw corridors of uh, power in Edo State, we had His Majesty A.Y. II send a very powerful delegation of his first class chiefs to pay Chief Sonny Omorogi Asemota a well-deserved final farewell. Now, still talking about the distinguished and worthy Nigerians who celebrated a globally recognized Nigerian entrepreneur of note, we also had the following big weeks. Talking about Benin now, ladies and gentlemen. Former Governor of Edo State, former National Chairman, APC, Chief John Odige Riegu, and his wife were there to pay him the last respects. Former Governor Gordon Abe, the worthy son of Edo State, and his wife were also there. We also had Chief Lincoln Smith. We had Chief Kennedy Smith and the lovely wife were also there. Architect Tokumbo Mishori. We're still talking Benin. We have not started talking about Lagos now. Oh, even if I didn't have to say it, the BCO Light in the Show and Biscon TV have kept a tab on with the 8th of June commendation service at the All Saints Church Montgomery Way in Yaba, Lagos. The service of songs, we also captured that at the St. Matthew Cathedral Benin City on Wednesday 8th of June, followed the next day, Thursday 9th, with a funeral service at the St. Matthew Cathedral Benin. Chisonia Morgue Samota was buried at this magnificent abode in Benin City after a short church service by a clergyman from the St. Matthew Cathedral Benin with his wife of 60 years, ladies and gentlemen, and children, great and grandchildren in attendance. But I wonder if you could just give me two minutes to hear this. There was no holding back of emotions as the body of Chief Sonny Omoroge Asemata was lowered and his greatest friend, confident and soulmate of 60 years, 80-year-old Chief Mrs. Iriti Asemata broke down completely, almost irretrievably. But um, with the children who were also full of emotions themselves, trying to console her. But that just shows you that our father lived a fantastic life, took care of the children, took care of the wife and everybody. All these events, by the way, from the church service till the one that you're hearing now will be broadcast in full, have been broadcast in full actually on Biscon TV in the last one week. And um, the final of the final that we're all witnessing here today will be broadcast on AIT and uh, Biscon TV tomorrow. That's Monday, 13th of June, 20. 22. Please help to spread the word. Our father is a fantastic man. My friend, who just saw me a while ago, said, The papa, a chop life saute. Oh God, he was very, very he's a, he's a, He just loves to dress well. He was looking very well himself. And we're happy that the whole world is celebrating. My mind goes back to eight years when he celebrated his eight year birthday. Ah, who did not come there that day? Seven years ago, and we were also just captured. And I had the singular privilege of doing exactly what I'm doing here today. So our father is one man that keeps friends from very many years back.